for is, uh, is, is bait fish. Like there, we got some bait fish right there. And uh, we're looking for uh, hooks. We're in right now in 90 feet of water, and we're just off the drop. And what happens here is the bait fish, uh, the LY, all the bait fish, whatever, they just come in and they swim up along this wall and they get big, the big kings, what we're after, come right up and just hammer them and up against the wall. They got nowhere to go, but up or down or in the king's mouth, that's about it. What we're doing right now is we're uh, putting out the, the planer boards. These are for uh, for extra lines. The planer board, all it does, it's just, it just gonna pull the lines off further so I can get two extra lines out to the side. You could put two multiple, you can go two, three, whatever you want, if you're walleye fishing or whatever it is, you can put as many as you want on them. So right now we're gonna be using them for uh, lead cores. So the girls are right now letting out the lead cores and um, we're gonna be setting them up in a second. You'll see how they work. Uh, these rods here, these are lead core rods. So our lead core rods, what they are, what's called lead, because there's lead in the line. So it's basically a braid line with lead, a thin, thin uh, coating of lead inside. So each color, there's colors on this. So the rods are set up with uh, uh, 10 colors and stuff like that. So each color that goes out, is, each color of lead is, is uh, actually 10, 10 meters or 30 feet. All right. So for every 30 feet that goes out, it drops five to six feet. Per, uh, the lure drops five to six feet. So right now I wanted to get down about 30 feet. So I let out six colors. So six colors gets me down about 30 feet. So basically what's on the end of this is just uh, lead core. There's a 30 pound uh, um, fluorocarbon lead line, which is about 30 feet uh, with a swivel again at the end, always swivels at the end so nothing gets tangled. And then the freedom, just a straight freedom at the end on these ones here. And what's happening here is they are on planer boards. So I got planer boards out there. The line is actually hooked up to the, to the clip. You can see the clip out there on the planer board. It's just a way, another way of getting the lines out further so we can we can use multiple lines on uh, on the boats. So what happens is this, this uh, lead core is hooked up to the clip. When a fish hits that, it's gonna release the clip. The clip's gonna slide down and we fight the fish. We bring the fish in. That's basically it. And then for the reset, we don't pull it in and grab another clip. We just have more clips right here. We'll just put another clip right back on. So at, at the end of the day, we just will know it. This, this side here had 10, 15, 20 hits, and this side here had five, six hits. So Cassandra's gonna be letting hers out at uh, four colors. Uh, four colors is uh, 6, 12, 18, 24 feet. So we're trying to target that upper half, that 30 foot and up here with, the, with these ones here, with the zipsies right now. I'm um, sorry, with the lead cord now. So that line is right here. What I do is my pull strap, I pull in my, I pull in my, my, my line by this. We clip, on the, we clip on the clip on there. We lock the line to that, to that clip and we let everything go back out again. So it's gonna be slight. Now it's, because it's so far back, it's actually gonna go in and pull itself into position back there right now. So as she's going down, we give it a little shake on the line to put, make the line go. We gotta get it, try to get it as far as possible. Sometimes the current uh, will help keep the line in. You just get her out there, she'll go, she'll go slowly. She'll go slowly. That's probably, that's about good. So we can lock her down. We can lock her down right now, put the clicker on. Just check the drag, put the rod back in, and she's set. All right, uh, on our uh, planer boards back there, um, they're, they're actually attached to a 100-pound um, uh, lead line right now. They're, 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 so they're just going to basically stay out there, uh, and the line just slides down. It. But as you can see, there's I got flags on, on mine. A lot of people don't put anything on their, uh, on their planer boards. The reason why I put the flags on is right now, basically, I'm not eight and a half or nine feet wide anymore. Right now, I'm a I'm hundred feet wide because I'm from here. So I got boats coming from every every angle. They can see they can see that I have some, some kind of a line out there. That's what the flags are for. So from far away, you can see those flags and people will avoid my lines. That's why we get, a lot of people don't use them and they get caught up on their lines with other boats. So it's a good, it's a good idea to put some kind of a, a flag device or something a bit higher where people can see your your, your boards out there.